I think that lymvatinib will be used both in the first and second line setting. It'll be used in the first line setting in a lot of patients who are newly diagnosed as RAI refractory and progressive. It'll also be used in the second line setting because there are already a large number of patients out there who have been on other kinase inhibitors, either through clinical trials or because they've been on serafinib because it was approved. And those patients will all also benefit very much from lymvatinib. So I think that they'll probably be treated in, in a lot of both settings going forward. So in serafinib, you have to really watch out for ham foot syndrome counsel your patients how to manage it. The important thing there is to let them know that most of the time the severity goes away after about three to four months. It starts improving. So sometimes that can help patients sort of manage it and, and not get too discouraged when they actually encounter it. With lymvatinib, the side effects are less hand foot syndrome. That's not such a big deal. It's really the blood pressure that's going to be the number one thing. Um, it's going to be very important to, to counsel them with the diet because weight loss is significant on this drug. And in addition, also um, diarrhea, which can contribute to the weight loss as well. And then for, for you know more rare side effects, you do have to warn them about up to 10% of the patients had um, did have evidence of clots, and you have to be aware of that.